Hello and welcome to Apricot Cottage Studio. Today we're going to do some variations of some guy cards. My husband's a golfer and he's disappointed that he can't be golfing more at this time. And I'm using the clubhouse dies and stamps from Stampin' Up to create these cards. First card I made was a very simple one just to see how the stamp image was. So it's just stamped, simply stamped and then colored with pencil crayon on a on a beigey background. Uh, the next card I did was a simple card where I die cut the uh, golfer and just used a little bit of paper, cut out a circle, and then just for fun, I put the little golf ball on a wobbler to give it a little bit of action inside. The card we're gonna make today is this one I'm using a uh, paper line from Stampin' Up! called Lily Impressions Designer Series Paper. And it's beautiful and feminine on one side, but it's got some beautiful colors on the back. And so even though the one side is quite feminine with flowers and things like that, this could be a very nice strong contrast on the back, on the front of the card. So I've got a piece of the Designer Series Paper, the blue, and it's sort of like a brushed acrylic paint. And to give it a little bit more texture, I also ran it through my embossing folder. This is the um, subtle boss embossing folder, and it's, it is very subtle. You can't really see it, but you can feel it. And I also embossed the inside card um, to give it a little bit of texture as well. And it's very lovely and subtle. Sort of looks like linen. So for this card, I've cut a piece of uh, blue paper and then I've got a piece of the green paper that I'm going to sort of give it a little bit of a hill. Just cut the edge for my golfer to tee off on and I'm going to add a little bit of glue to keep that in place. There we go. There's my grassy hill. Line that up. There we go. I've got my background of my card ready to go. Let's slip it up a little bit higher there to leave a white border around it. And then I have my golfer and I'm going to color him in with the Stampin' markers. I'm going to use two different shades, a light one and a dark one. So I'm going to start off with the light red. And I'm going to do my whole shirt with a light shade. And I've already colored the skin, which you can do any shade you like. And then because this has already got the shadows in the stamp, it makes it really easy to do the shadows. You just follow the shadow lines with the darker color and along the edge until he looks like this. There he's all ready to go on my card. And I've cut him out with the die. And then I've got also the golf ball. And the golf ball doesn't need a lot of coloring. It's really quite quick to do. Just a couple of swipes of green, maybe some darker green, and a little bit of lighter green for highlight, for the grass, like that. I want to add a little bit of shading to my to my golf ball because otherwise it looks a little flat. It's already got some shading in the stamp, but just adding a little bit of shading in here in the little dimples will give it a little bit more dimension. There we go. And then I die cut that with the die as well that matches that set. I'll pop that out. And I'm going to put that on my card. I could use a little wobbler to make it stand up. I'm going to add some Stampin' Dimensionals to have my golfer come away from the back of the page. And he'll go on like this. And my golf ball. I want to add my saying. And this stamp set comes with the dies to cut the layers and the sayings out. 
So I'm going to add a little banner. This one I used a circle to cut it out. This one I'm just going to put the banner across. It says, you're the greatest guy by par. Which is a nice little pun. And add a couple of the mini dimensionals on the back of the saying. There we go. Two little mini dimensionals to raise that up, give it a little bit more dimension. Whoop. There we go. You're the greatest guy by par. And then layer that on my card. I'm going to need to move my little man over a bit. Put that in. There we go. You can layer over there. And I've got a glue on my golf ball. Kind of a, a big golf ball for the uh, size of the uh, golfer, but maybe they feel like that when they're golfing. There we go. And then I've also got some grass, and I can um, color a little bit of that to also give it a bit of shading, because I want to layer a couple of the golf men over the grass underneath the the golf man just beside him. Maybe he's coming out of the green. And put another one with a little bit of stamp and dimensionals. There we go. Tuck that one in there and layer it. So there's my card done. So that's a pretty easy one as well. Now I also wanted to make something to sit at the table or uh, to celebrate my husband's birthday. He couldn't go golfing so I made a little uh, corner easel card and I got the directions of this for Janice uh, McIntyre who's a Ontario demonstrator and it's pretty easy to do. I used to make them with the grade ones to display on their desks. So you just take a piece of cardstock and you cut it eight by eight, and then you score it in half and in half so that you have four, four inch circles, or uh, squares rather. Then you score along the top of this square and you score along the top of that square. And when you overlap it, it becomes like a little 3D dimensional diorama. You glue the ends down. Let's put some glue on there. Fold it over like this. So then you have this little dimensional. And then let's see, um, you cut some squares of the same paper and you can put one in either side. And if you cut one of them in half, like this, along the fold line, let's quickly cut that from corner to corner. Like that. And then you fold these pieces back along those scored lines and you put each of these on here. This will be like the sky. If you want to leave a border you can trim the four inch squares down a little bit more. And really you can make this any size just by adjusting your square and adjusting the, the size of your triangles or your squares. And then I'm going to take a little strip like this. There's my grass. A little 
bit of glue on the back. And I've taken a little strip of uh, two inch by four inch and I've scored it so that it becomes a little stand for my golfer to stand on. So put a little bit of glue either side like this. Hold it down, and that, that gives me a little hill to put my golfer on. Put a little bit of glue on the bottom. He can stand like that. And then I need a little saying. This one says, I hope the next year is full of green fairways, blue skies, and short putts. So that will go there. And then if you want to decorate it, I wanted to put a happy birthday on there. I cut it out of foil and glued it on, and I glued it on the, the golf ball, and that became a little decoration to put on the table to celebrate my husband's birthday. I hope you enjoyed seeing a few variations for the clubhouse set, and come back and join me again another time. Thank you.